In a world increasingly affected by climate change, fossil fuels are no longer a long-term option. The natural world around us offers plenty of opportunities for clean, renewable energy. The ocean is one of them. Today, there are three main sources of offshore renewables. The power of the wind, the movement of the waves, and the rise and fall of the tides. How do they work? Today, wind farms are the most popular type of offshore renewable. And compared to wind farms on land, they have many advantages. The speed and the strength of the wind are great in the ocean. The visual impact and noise levels are reduced. Wind farms can be bigger at sea, meaning more energy is collected and they have a minimal impact on ocean ecosystems. So how does a wind farm work? We have the energy of the wind, which is coming into our turbine. So this makes rotates the turbine and it is connected then to a generator. What is a generator? It's like if you think of a fan, but the opposite. The generator will transform our kinetic energy into electricity. Then to transport the electricity, we need to have cables. So these cables go from the generator to a main substation, which is basically a point where we collect all of the electricity from the wind farm, and then we send it back to the final consumer. But the infrastructure remains expensive to build and maintain. European engineers are working on solutions. What about the ocean itself? Waves contain a lot of energy. And this is how they can create electricity. It's installed a few hundred meters from the shoreline of an ocean to the bottom of the sea. The big panel moves back and forth with the ocean waves and captures the energy. The power taker unit with generators levels the energy and converts it to electricity. In the future, multiple wave roller units can be combined to create a bigger wave farm. The bigger the wave, the more powerful it is. But the power generated also depends on its speed, its length, and the power of the wind pushing it. Waves are a good option because they are predictable and their energy can be easily absorbed by a power grid. But this technology isn't widely used yet. Researchers are still investigating how to make it an affordable and reliable alternative. Finally, Tidal energy is one of the largest untapped renewables. Tides are highly dependent on the moon cycles, which means they are easier to predict than wind and sun. Tidal energy is generated with underwater turbines that are installed in places with high tidal movements. The movement of the water makes the blades turn. This drives the generator to produce electricity that is then sent to shore via power cables. But these devices can be difficult to install and maintain in the ocean, especially at competitive costs. However, recent technological improvements could make this possible. Europe is the current global leader in offshore renewables, but there's still a long way to go, because the EU wants to become the first climate neutral continent by 2050 and offshore renewables will become the continent's number one source of power. This is Europe's man on the moon moment. Today, offshore renewables only represent 2% of EU electricity, but the EU has launched a new strategy. By 2030, its offshore wind capacity is set to multiply by five. And by 2050, that capacity will be 25 times more than today. The Commission has also committed to increasing ocean energy and other emerging technologies. To meet these objectives, nearly 800 billion will be needed. Most of that will need to come from private investment. Will they make it?